Today we're going to learn how to put fractions in order. Let's look at some examples. In each of these questions, there are going to be two key things to pay attention to. First, what does the question ask? Here, order the fractions from least to greatest. So we want to start small and get bigger. Next, look at what's the same in all three fractions. In this case, the denominators are all the same. They're all seven. That means we want to look at the numerators, six, two, and four. The smaller the numerator, the smaller the fraction. So the smallest fraction will have the smallest numerator. In this case, two. So two sevenths should be our smallest one. The biggest fraction will have the biggest numerator. The biggest numerator is six. So six over seven is the largest. Four over seven is in the middle because four is between two and six. So this should be the right order for the fractions. Let's rearrange them and see if that's right. Here's another example. First, the question asks, order the fractions from least to greatest. So we again want to keep the same order. What's the same? The denominators, they're all seven. So we want to focus on the numerators, six, two, and four. And we put those in order from least to greatest. Two, four, six. That's going to be the order that we want. Two, four, six. The numerators are getting bigger. Here's another example. Order the fractions from least to greatest. So again, we're starting small and getting bigger. What's the same in all three? The denominator. That means we want to look at the numerators. The numerators are 2, 3, and 6. We can see these are already in order. 2 is already the smallest, 6 is already the biggest. So this is already the order that we want. We're already good to go. Here's an example that's a little bit different. The question is the same. Order the fractions from least to greatest. This is the same thing we've been doing. But now, look at what's the same. The denominators are all different, 4, 6, 7. But the numerators are all equal to 2. This means we're going to have to focus on the denominators, 7, 6, and 4. Because the denominator represents what we're dividing by, the rule is now the opposite. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Right? If I ask you, would you rather have a third of a pizza or an eighth of a pizza? You would say a third because that's more. It's the same idea here. Seven is the biggest denominator, which means two sevenths will be the smallest fraction. Since 4 is the smallest denominator, 2 fourths will be the biggest fraction. These are already in order. Here's another example. Order the fractions from least to greatest. So we're still starting small, getting bigger. What's the same? The denominators are all different, but the numerators are all 2. That means we're going to order based on the denominators. 8, 4, 5. The smallest fraction has the biggest denominator, which is 8. That's going to go first. The smallest denominator will be the biggest fraction, 4. So 5 will go in the middle. That's the order that we want. And again, we can see this pattern playing out. The denominator starts at 8 then 5, then 4 as the fractions get bigger. Once again, order the fractions from least to greatest. The numerators are all the same. They're all 1. So look at the denominators. 5, 7, 4. Then put the biggest one first because the biggest denominator is the smallest fraction. 7, then 5, then 4. That's going to be the order that we want. One more time. 
order the fractions from least to greatest. So again, starting small, getting bigger. Then look, the numerators are all the same. We'll look at the denominators, 6, 4, and 7. We know that the biggest denominator corresponds to the smallest fraction. So 7 is going to go first, then 6, then 4 with the smallest denominator. Something very small changed for this question. Now the question is asking us, order the fractions from greatest to least. If you just glance at it, it looks almost exactly the same, but the difference is obviously very important. So we have to make sure to read the question carefully or we'll get the order wrong. So we want to start with the biggest fraction and end with the smallest. What's the same? The numerators are the same. So look at the denominators. Four, three, seven. Two-thirds has the smallest denominator, so that's going to be the biggest fraction. And because we're going from greatest to least, that's going to go on the left-hand side now. So the order that we want is this, because now the fractions are decreasing. Here again, the question is asking us to order from greatest to least. Look at the numerators. They're all equal to 1. So we order based on the denominators. The biggest fraction has the smallest denominator, which in this case will be 4. So 1 fourth should come first, then 1 fifth, then 1 sixth with the biggest denominator. So again, these three are already in order. One last example. Order the fractions from greatest to least. So start big again. The numerators, all the same, all ones. The denominators are 6, 3, and 8. The biggest fraction will have the smallest denominator. So 3 comes first, then 6, then 8. That's going to be our order. So if you keep those two steps in mind, what is the question asking for? And then what is the same about the three fractions and use that to order them should be good to go on these questions.